Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how to print hello world statement in multiple ways in UiPath Studio. Today's agenda is printing hello world statement. So basically there are three ways to display the statement whatever we are providing to the UiPath Studio or output of any functionality or any program which we are executing in UiPath Studio in three ways. So one is message box, write line and write text file. So we are gonna see about each and every activity in UiPath Studio. So let's open UiPath Studio. So before performing any activity, so we should have a project in our UiPath Studio. So today I have created a project with the name of batch one. So, uh, so for printing, so let's see how to print message of hello world in message box. So for performing that, so click on activity tab and here we need to search message box. So I am entering the word as message box. So we can see the message box is available in the dialog folder. It means so message box, whatever the text we are providing inside the message box, it will display in the form of a pop-up. So showing the error of the message. So just drop the activity into the main.xaml so and provide the text whatever you want to see in the message box and it must be inside the quotes so i'm giving the word as hello world so that's it so now once we click on run button so we should see a message box displaying with the statement as hello world just click on run button so once the execution is completed so we can see the output as message box with the statement of hello world so here we can see the activity running the execute batch one execution has started so just click on ok button and it will terminate the execution click on ok so next activity which we discussed is which we are going to discuss is right line so this statement this activity is helpful to display the message or the output result in uipath studio inside the output folder output folder okay so here in the activity tab just search for the word as right line so if you see this right line activity is present under the statements so just drag and drop into our sequence okay so i'm just providing the right line activity below the message box to ensure uh, the message box and both the activities are performing sequentially so just provide the data as hello world so once we enter the input text line so just click on run button so now once we uh, once the execution is started so we should see a message box showing the hello world and once we click on ok we should see the the statement of hello world in the output activity just click on run button okay. so now execution is started and it is displaying the message as hello world just click on ok and we can see the message as hello world in the output statement here you can see the statement and we can see the line as execution ended in 0 0.00 seconds okay and next one is writing the output into our a file document so for writing the output into a text file so we need to select this activity as write text line file so just uh, select the activity and drag and drop it into our sequence so we need to so in the first field of text so we need to provide the message or output variable so which we want to uh, see the output in our file so i am giving the statement as hello world again So in the write to file name, uh, so we need to provide the file name with an extension. So if it is, if you want to keep the this output in the write text file, we need to provide the extension as .txt. If you want to 
provide uh, get the input output and input uh, into a word documents means we need to provide dot docx so like that we need to provide so many uh, extensions to along with the file name so just give the, i'm giving the file name as hello world so once we click on run button so three activities will perform now so message box right line and write text file just click on run button so you can see that this execution is static so hello world is displayed just click on ok so now hello world uh, is displayed in the output and execution is stop at 0 0.5 seconds so now we need to see the hello world message inside the right text file so for that we need to go into project and click on refresh button so now we can see the text file with the name as hwllo.world so this is so i have not provided the extension so that's why it is, is not displaying properly so let's keep the extension here so i am renaming it to hello txt so i am re-executing it so first we should get a pop-up message as hello world next step hello world should display in the output screen and execution is completed now so now refresh the project one so now we can see the hello world.txt file so in text format just click on just open it and we can see the message what we have written in the right text file so here the output is showing us hello world so that's all for now so these are the ways we can print the output for a particular project or particular sequence into the output or into a message box or into a text file so that's all that's all for now so we can see some more examples in the coming classes thank you